importance to you or oh, welcome back again to my channel my name is Doris in case you're coming across this channel for the first time make yourself comfortable and feel relaxed to my returning subscribers I welcome you all to I am back again with a fiction story between Licorice and Emmanuel as you all know we stopped at uh, chapter 22 so i'm back with chapter 23 24 and 25 in case this is your first time joining us in this story this is purely fiction story between the chorus and the manual it's just for fun and to educate people out there and there is no way you go through all the stories you won't pick one or two lessons from it trust me it's worth reading it just stay put as we enjoy this video with me but before we move into the next chapter we stopped where um liquor rose and emmanuel they were at home um liquor rose was like let's go out and uh, have some fun then emmanuel said no let's stay at home and enjoy each other's company so they concluded that they will stay at home so after a few minutes liquor rose's phone rang and she picked it up it was her personal assistant calling by name king thereby telling her that she has an appointment so she was like why will you fix an appointment for me without confirming from me first it's better for you to shift it though so he now told him to confirm from the said person she's meeting whether the said meeting can be rescheduled so after some minutes, King called back and said no, that it can't, that it's urgent meeting. So, Lucoros has no other option than to prepare to go and meet with the person. Thereby, telling Emmanuel that she's sorry, but she will soon be back. So, that was where we stopped. And Emmanuel, immediately Lucoros left, she thought to himself, ah, what will I do to surprise her when she comes back? So, he later came up with something and in this next chapter, we'll know what his plan was unexpected love chapter 23 emmanuel decided to call a certain surprise company to come and decorate house including his room in a very romantic way he prepared food too and he already looked for a very romantic movie they could watch lucoris called him when she finished with her meeting lucoris said hi boo emmanuel said babe what's up lucoris said how are you doing emmanuel said i'm not fine Lucora said, what's wrong? Please go and rest. I will soon be home. Emmanuel said, no, Joe. You promised it won't take long, but this is after 4. That is 4 p.m. already. I miss you. Then Lucora said, I'm so sorry, darling. You scare me. Emmanuel said, I'm so sorry, love. Lucora said, anyways, I'm on my way already. Emmanuel said, okay, drive carefully. Lucora said, no problem. Emmanuel said, okay, love. I'm expecting you. Lucora smiled. Emmanuel said, I love you. Likoro said, I love you too. The call ended and some minutes later, she got home. When she got home, she made sure she packed her car in a very convenient place. She opened the door. So Likoro dropped her bag and she entered and tears rolled down her eyes when she saw everything Emmanuel did for her. Apparently, he had seen her packing her car. So he decided to open the door and run away. Luca Rose saw a letter with the caption, Look at me if you can. She smiled. Luca Rose now said, Where is he? She heard a sound from the kitchen. She picked up her bag and hurriedly to the kitchen. Getting to the kitchen, she met him cooking. Emmanuel said, My angel. Luca Rose was still in shock. Emmanuel said, Come, come. She walked to him with teary eyes. He held her waist. Emmanuel said, how was the meeting? Luca Rose stares at him for 15 seconds and said it was fine. She said, stammering. Emmanuel said, so, you know what you would do for me now? Luca Rose said, no. Emmanuel said, go upstairs, freshen up, then come back. Luca Rose said, okay, love. She turned and was about to go. Emmanuel said, wait. Luca Rose looked at him and Emmanuel said, not even a kiss from you? Then Luca Rose smiled and said, I'm sorry. She walked to him and pecked him on his lips. Likoros said, happy now? Emmanuel said, a little bit. Or you're going to freshen up. Likoros went to his room to freshen up. Getting there, what she saw really amazed her. Chapter 24. When she entered the room, the room was decorated with I love you. Different roses on the bed and the floor. She cried and sat on the bed. She saw a letter on the bed with the caption, 
wear this laundry i bought it for you not to worry i'm not expecting any visitor liquor said oh my god this guy won't kill me with love she undressed freshened up and wore the laundry emmanuel bought for her she hurriedly to the kitchen and hugged him from behind liquor said i love you he didn't say anything after some seconds he turned his face to hers and held her waist they stared at each other for a few minutes they were short of words they believed the stairs would express more than the words. After some minutes, Emmanuel broke the silence. Emmanuel said, you are looking so beautiful. Lukuro said, oh, thanks to you for getting me this. Emmanuel said, do you like it? Lukuro said, yes. Emmanuel said, I'm glad, so let's eat. Lukuro said, wait. Emmanuel said, what's wrong, sweetie? Then Lukuro said, promise never to leave me. Emmanuel sighs and said, so you think I will leave you? Honestly, no, my world will crumble if we depart. I love you so much and I can't live without you. Liquoro said she, putting a finger on his lips and said, Sweetheart, you can live without me, just that you don't want to. Likewise me. We love each other to the extent of not wanting anything to come in between us. Emmanuel said, I love you so much. Liquoro said, I love you too. Emmanuel said, oh yeah, let's eat. You must be very tired. They ate and after they finished eating, they went to the room to watch the movie. Emmanuel wanted them to watch it and it was around 7 p.m. in the evening. After they finished watching the first romantic movie, they fought a lot of emotions while watching the first movie, but they couldn't fight emotions during the next movie. They kissed and when things was about to go down, Lukwara said, wait. The Emmanuel said, really? I'm ready to be a father. Lukwara said, I understand, but I suggest you still use it. Then Emmanuel said, okay, my lady. They continued from where they stopped. At this point, the movie was watching them instead. Things led to another and after they finished, Likoro slept in Emmanuel's arms. The next day, Emmanuel got up so early to prepare indomie and egg, tea for Likoro's. After he finished cooking, he took the food to the room and he waked her up with kisses all over her body. Emmanuel said, good morning, my love. Likoro said, good morning, sweetheart. Emmanuel said, how are you doing? Likoro said, fine and yours. Emmanuel said, your night. Likoro said, awesome. Emmanuel said, oh yeah, go and brush your teeth before your food gets cold. Likoro said, okay, love. Likoro stood up, went to the bathroom, brushed her teeth and rinsed her face. Then she returned back to Emmanuel. Emmanuel said, oh yeah, eat your food. Likoro said, thank you, darling. She took a fork and Likoro said, so delicious. Emmanuel said, thanks, love. Likoro said, you're welcome. Emmanuel said, yeah, so after you finish eating, you will go and take your bath. Likoro said, definitely. Have you eaten? Emmanuel said, watching you eat is enough for me. Likoro said, ah, no, let's eat together. She fed Emmanuel. After they finished eating, Emmanuel packed the plates to the kitchen. Though Likoro wanted to pack the plates, but he insisted. She stood up and went to the bathroom to take her bath. After taking her bath, she dressed up and decided to join Emmanuel in the sitting room. When she got there, she was just staring because she was confused and didn't know what to say. Chapter 25 Emmanuel had called Ella earlier before the day to ask her about some things about Likoros. So this was the conversation. Emmanuel said, hi dear. Ella said, hello. Emmanuel said, it's me, Emmanuel. I collected your number from Alex. Ella said, we just left their place not quite long. Emmanuel said, yes, he told me. Ella said, what's up? How are you doing? Emmanuel said, fine, and you? Ella said, how is your health? Emmanuel said, I'm better now. Ella said, hope no problem. Emmanuel said, not at all. Lucoros went for a very important meeting. This conversation now took place earlier. That is before, that's in that day, Lekoros went to meet with somebody. That day, King called Lekoros. That personal assistant to Lekoros called her to meet up with somebody. So that was when this uh, conversation took place. Hope you're understanding the whole thing. Ella said, hey, we've not talked since though. Emmanuel said, I called to ask you some things about Lekoros. Ella said, okay, go on. Emmanuel said, who is a hairstylist? Ella said, Yink's signature. Then Emmanuel said, favorite makeup artist? Ella said, Mac Jones. Emmanuel said, shoes on call. Ella said, she doesn't really have one, but let me just say Lambie. 
Emmanuel said, okay, her stylist, I mean her dress. Ella said, flow stylist. Then Emmanuel said, okay, thanks, dear. Ella said, you're welcome, but hope no problem. Emmanuel said, not at all. Ella said, okay. Emmanuel said, please, can you do me a favor? Ella said, what is that? Emmanuel said, please, don't discuss this with Licorus. Ella said, I won't. Emmanuel said, thank you so much. Ella said, you're welcome. Bye. Emmanuel said, bye. The call ended. Ifoma said, who was that? Ella said, Emmanuel, he was asking about Rosa's favorite stylist and all. Ifoma said, only God knows what he's up to. Back to the present. So, when Licorus got to the sitting room, she saw Magjo, she yinks and flow stylist. She was surprised. Emmanuel said, come, sweetie. Licorus walked to Emmanuel. Licorus said, sweetie, please, I'm confused. I don't understand any longer. Emmanuel said, is it bad? Licorus said, no, but I'm still yet to understand what's going on. Emmanuel said, okay, let me explain. We are going on a date, so I decided to call your stylist and make up artists to come dress you up. Lukwara said, really? Emmanuel said, yes. Lukwara said, but. Emmanuel said, she, no but. Lukwara said, I love you. Emmanuel said, I love you more. Lukwara said, good morning, everyone. I'm so sorry. I was just shocked. Hope you guys understood what's happened now. She came down from the bedroom and she, as in she was heading to the sitting room. There she met her hairstylist, her makeup artist, so she was very surprised. I believe the first question that will come to her mind will be like, ah, how was the guy able to know who her makeup artist is and her stylist, both as a uh, clothing stylist and the uh, hairstylist. But unknown to her, Emmanuel made that call earlier. And his aim of doing that is for them to go on a date. So Likoro said, good morning everyone. I'm sorry, I was just shocked. So Magjo said, understandable, good morning. Yinks and uh, Flo Styling said, good morning dear. Emmanuel said, so let's get started. Emmanuel left them to prepare his clothes and later joined them to keep Likoro's company. After about an hour or two, Likoro and Emmanuel were ready. Emmanuel also hired a day driver to take them to the venue. He had booked the restaurant for a day. The restaurant, they had their first date. They got to the venue and they held hands. The place was well decorated. They entered and a singer was singing a very slow romantic love song for them. So guys, this is the end of chapter 25. I'll be coming back with some other chapters later. Okay, hope you guys are enjoying the story. Hope you guys are learning one or two things. I love the way uh, Emmanuel um, compliments Lecoros always telling her how beautiful she is well emmanuel is a gentleman who knows what to do at the right time so i will come back later with the remaining chapters stay tuned and don't go anywhere please oh, recommend this channel to people out there so that they will come and join us in this story okay remember my name is doris till i come your way next time